Hello and welcome to the Business Interview. I'm Marcus Carlson. You could call it a mini Davos for France. Today we're at a forum that brings together small business, major corporations, as well as uh, French politicians. Uh, and uh, it's organized uh, this forum by uh, the main employers organization here in France. It's called the MEDEF. And you could say as well that it's a very good opportunity to take the temperature of French business. And to help us do that, I'm joined here by Laurence Parizeau. She is the head of uh, the MEDEF. And I suppose you could say that you're one of France's most uh, powerful and influential women. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Uh invited me in your program. Absolutely, it's our pleasure. First of all, could you talk us through where we are and talk us through what the utility of this forum is? Tell us a little bit more about where we are, as I say. Oh, here we are in a compass. Uh, this is uh, the compass of a, a very famous French school called HEC. And during three days, uh, we say, uh, the entrepreneurs, we say that uh, we are in a uh, summer university campus. That means that during three days, um, a CEO of big companies and CEO of very small companies uh, with academics, with um, uh, people from the arts, people from sports, uh, and, and politicians, politicians from the left, politicians from the right, we have discussions on many subjects, on many issues. Uh, not only business issues. Uh, we can have discussion on, on physics and uh, very scientific uh, questions. And um, that means that we think that uh, if we want to be uh, efficient and if we want to be also uh, socially responsible, mm -hmm. uh, we have some time to just uh, calm down, uh, relax and just discuss and think. As you say, it's, it's an opportunity for businesses, big and small, to come together to discuss yeah, how, how to, to their businesses together. are yes. doing. Tell us then, what is the atmosphere this year, this time around? Uh, what are your members telling you about the state of the French economy and about their businesses? Uh, of course, they, they all noticed a, a slowdown in the economy. Uh, however, they're not that pessimistic. Uh, they're very uh, concerned by the, the debt crisis uh, and the situation also in the US because we all feel uh, that um, growth uh, in, in the US is not here. And uh, as the US uh, economy is the uh, uh, most powerful engine in the world, it, it's, it's a concern. Um, however, we, we, we feel also that uh, there are some uh, new ideas, that there are some innovations and, uh, uh, which can create uh, growth. And also, I must say that even among the SMEs, uh, and specifically since uh, the 2008 crisis, most of them uh, now have offices overseas. So uh, uh, the, 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 the catch, uh, the, the growth uh, in China, in Brazil, in India. So French companies, they're going abroad for the growth. Exactly. It's not so much here, though, the growth in this country. Uh, it's OK. It's not a catastrophe. Uh, it's not great, neither. Uh, it's so-so. Um, but I think that uh, the, 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 the main issue is how fast uh, how, how fast how, uh, the, 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 the head of states uh, will solve uh, the debt uh, crisis, mm -hmm. the debt issue. Um, and you know, a very important, very positive sign has been uh, given by the French government when at the end of August uh, they proposed a, a new package uh, to, to meet uh, their goals in terms of uh, fiscal consolidation. I want to get back to what you think of politicians a little bit later, but, but I want to come back to what you said before when you said that the, the economy is so-so. In times like these, when you say so-so, that's still seen as fairly optimistic. You don't think there'll be a recession? No, clearly no. not. Uh, well, because uh, we, we see that we get some orders, uh, that we have some clients. Uh, mm. uh, and so despite uh, high unemployment still, low growth figures? Yeah, employment I I is an issue and we know now that uh, 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 the jobs creation depend uh, on uh, SMEs uh, much more than uh, big companies. Um, but um, uh, what we think also is that uh, th there is a big uh, transformation of the economy. Uh, we, uh, 
know that the consumers uh, ask for a new kind of products, for example, green growth. Mm. It's not just a concept, it's, it's a reality. Uh, so uh, uh, if I, I say that uh, we don't want to be too pessimistic, this is also by comparison by 2008. Mm -hmm. You know, just after the Lehman Brothers uh, uh, catastrophe, um, uh, the, the, the situation was absolutely awful and uh, we were um, very worried at that time. Um, uh, today we are concerned, but not that worried. Uh, we have this image though that the Eurozone at the moment, uh, of Fran and France al along with it, that they're, they're in a deep crisis at, at, at this stage. You've said, and you've made headlines for it in the past few days, you said that that image to a certain extent has been orchestrated from the United States. Uh, now that sounds a little bit strange and it is indeed very controversial. Talk us through what you mean. Well, it, it's not really strange. I mean, it, it's uh, like in, uh, in competition between companies. Uh, we all know that when uh, something is going uh, uh, bad for one company, uh, 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 it might uh, be possible to uh, uh, orchestrate uh, uh, bashing of the, of the competitive company uh, in order to uh, forget uh, mm. its own uh, uh, difficulties, its own trouble. Um, of course, uh, and there is no doubt about that, Europe is facing very serious issue. The debt crisis is an issue, economic governance in Europe is an issue. But what I mean is, um, during all this uh, uh, summer, and specifically in August, um, you know that on the markets very weird things happened. I noticed that in the, in the same time that uh, some newspapers, some media, uh, some famous economists um, uh, orchestrated the idea that uh, the, 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 the real problem and the big storm which is coming is coming from the Eurozone. But do you understand though that when, when Americans hear that, when English language speakers hear that, they probably go, oh, here the French go again, complaining about a crisis that they themselves created, but they're blaming it on us. Uh, uh, what do you say to that? The, the, uh, I said that uh, there is a word that we have some difficulties to translate in French, uh, but uh, uh, in English, this word is bashing. Mm. So I think that uh, some uh, Euro bashing has been orchestrated. Uh, it's not mo no more than that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I just wanted to say to uh, my colleagues here, to the French entrepreneurs, to the European entrepreneurs, uh, don't be uh, naive and uh, don't be uh, intoxicated. Mm -hmm. uh, we have problems. Um, the US have problems. But don't think that we are dead. Let's get back to then what I wanted to talk to you about before, the, the, the political level, because there is this image that there is a failure of Europe and a lot of that failure is seen to be coming from, from the political level. How would you grade European politicians and their handling of, of this crisis? Well, not, uh, I, I, I don't want to, to, to give a, a clear grade, but I, I think that they, they, they're doing a very difficult, a difficult job. Um, the situation is complex. This is very um, difficult to explain to the uh, public opinion uh, how complex it is and the kind of, uh, of trade-off they have to, 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 to make. Um, and I think that, for example, in the mid of August, when there was this uh, turmoil in, on the markets, when Angela Merkel and Nicolas Sarkozy uh, come together and um, uh, make a, a clear statement that they want to defend the euro and that they want to promote uh, mm -hmm. uh, the euro, it is very strong and very important. And you know, uh, Europe is, is a, it's unique in the, 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 the whole history of the world. Um, and, and this creation of a single currency uh, is absolutely unique. You, you, you can't find a, a, a story like that uh, during this past 2,000 years. Mm -hmm. So that's the fact that sometimes uh, it's quite difficult, it's just normal. And the main thing for me is that the will, the will of all, um, of all uh, head of states and head of governments 
is 100% to defend euro. This is key. Let's talk about France a little bit and its policies in, in, in this time of austerity. The French government wants to hike taxes. They want to raise taxes in order to, to, to levy more revenues as part of their austerity plan. Is that a good idea? No, because uh, the, 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 the fiscal burden uh, is really too high in France and uh, we are at the maximum. Uh, if we go further, we won't be able to, to create growth. We considered that uh, the package at the end of August uh, was quite important because uh, uh, it will, it, this is the evidence that the French government will meet uh, uh, its goals uh, and will be able to, um, uh, uh, to, to get this uh, 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 deficit of uh, uh, 3% uh, maximum in 2013. But we think that we have to, to, to do much more and, 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 and on a different way. And slash spending more than raise taxes, exactly. that's your argument. Exactly, and, 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 and we need to, to, um, to, to conduct some uh, structural reforms for that. Just like we did last year with the pension reform, and that, that was very important. It was the, this is the best way to, to, uh, to cut some spendings and to save money. And we have to conduct the, the same kind of reform in health insurance, for example. Um, we have some other reforms to do, especially in some local authorities. Um, but I think it will be uh, this issue at the heart of the next presidential campaign. All right, on that, we're going to have to leave it. Uh, Laurence Parisot, thanks very much indeed once Thank again for, for speaking to us. And with that, we're going to wrap up the programme as well. Thanks for watching France 24.